Hi. Welcome to Max 7 tutorial number 44. Sound from the spigot. Why don't you just get a whole new patcher out here and... Oh, I actually already had one open. I'm just going to put this one away and find... There it is. Nice and big. Um, you know, there's sometimes when you're playing a movie that you don't want to use that built-in nice function where you just drag the movie out here. You want to use your uh, jit.qt.movie, and this is one of those cases. So, go ahead and type the J. You get jit, type, um, what did I already say? Qt, Qt, and then dot .mov movie, and that should do it. We'll put that in the middle, and then we'll put a message that says um, read crash test. We could be fancy and put a dot mov. And then we, of course, I can show you um, a different feature of Max, which is the Play Bar movie. I always like the Play Bar movie. The Play Bar. Um, there we go. There it is. So with this, it sort of substitutes for the metronome and all that, so it helps your movie play, and you can resize it so it's not taking up the entire screen there, but is nice and big and has the functions that you see here. So let's do that, and then we will get a uh, type of J, and let's get a patcher window. We got a patcher window. There we go. Let's just make sure everything's working before we get on to sound from the spigot. So there we go. And you lock your patcher. You hit uh, go around and around and around. And hit play. Whoops, hit read first. And then hit play. So you can hear our Oh, nice. I have it going like forward, backward, forward, backward. All good. I'm just going to turn the sound down a tiny bit there so we can concentrate. Okay. So, in the typical format, the default move is for the movie player to just play the movie and it sends the sound out through your speakers and you have absolutely no control over it. But you can have control over it by using the spigot object. So, let's get unlock our patcher and get right back inside here. I know I can do it to making a space behind movie and we'll type the at symbol. And if you recall with the jitter objects, the at symbol is when you're giving it some sort of uh, parameter value. So the first thing we're going to say is at volume, no space, at volume, then space, one period. So that's going to play it as loud as it can play it. And I'm just doing that because um, we'll control the volume somewhere else on the other side of the spigot. Type another space and put at SOC, which sound, stands for uh, sound output component or something like that. Anyway, I always remember it at SOC and then space and we need to name the spigot where it's going. Let's call it Fred. No, let's call it Monkey. At Sock Monkey. And um, I think we could just leave it at that. So now, when this thing opens up, it's going to send out full volume to a spigot named Monkey. Okay, so I believe when we play this, we won't hear it at all, hopefully. Play. Oh, has to read. Yeah. Um, you know, whenever you modify things, it, it makes it a whole new object, so it doesn't know that it's already read Crash Test Movie. Now it's reading it, and you can't hear it, no matter how much I turn the volume up. Um, the reason for that is it's sending it out to the sound output component named Monkey, also called Spigot. So, let's just uh, stop our movie here and go right up here and uh, we want to uh, unlock our patcher, 
type an N for a new object, and type spigot with a, what is it called, a tilde. And then we are going to name it monkey. You already guessed that. And now it's there. And now we have the audio channel one and audio channel two. And now we just need something to run that audio out of. And that would be an easy DAC. So type N, easy DAC. Sometimes you don't want an easy DAC, but today we do. And we're just going to connect it right up there. And now let's lock our patcher, turn the movie on, and we have the sound now coming out of this easy DAC. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. But just to demonstrate, now we can turn it off. Which also means that we can put a gain control between here um, and be able to control the volume another way. So let's just do that. Let's uh, unlock our patcher here and pull this down here and type an N, type a gain. There we go. Gain control and um, there we go. A nice fat little gain control. We'll just move these. We could um, be fancy and put a stereo. I don't think it's in stereo, but we could do that a fancier way, but I think this will suffice. And now we have, whoops, sorry, that doesn't do that. It has to go from here to there. Thank goodness for those color-coded cords. Uh, and now we can turn the volume back on. And let's see what we get here with our volume control. Look at that. So we'll get on um, more about sound control, but this is really the basics of it, and I wanted to go over that. So remember, when you want to control your sound from your JITQT movie player, use the Spicket object. That's it. Patch well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.